Hey y'all, I'm Nick Pomeroy with PR Equipment here in Kearns and Canton, Texas. Uh, today we want to talk about a couple tractors, or I guess say a series of tractors from Massey Ferguson's. It's probably, it's, it's becoming more and more popular. It's, it's a pretty important part of the lineup and that's the E-Series. So the E-Series encompasses five different models uh, in two different chassis sizes. So the first of which is the 1800E, and the 1800E can come in an 1825, an 1835, and an 1840. And then on the 2800 series chassis, we have a 2850E and a 2860E. So within both of those ranges, there's a few more options to consider. And one of those is tire size, tires. And so the, these, these tires here are the R1 option. There's lots of other options. Uh, industrial tires are probably a little bit more prominent. But in some guys, if you're doing more grounding, engaging work, maybe you're pulling a plow, a disc, or something like that, having the, the R1s is gonna get you significantly more traction than the R4 tires. So it is a nice tire option, especially if you're gonna actually do some farming with it. Maybe you are gonna you know, put, put a plow in the ground, do something like that. Having the ex extra traction is, is pretty darn nice. Uh, a few other options to talk about is the transmission option. Both of these trans tractors are equipped with the 8x8 synchro shuttle transmission. So more or less, you've got four gears, a little bit of a difference between where they're shifted, but you've got four gears and two ranges on both of these tractors with a synchronized shuttle shift on both tractors. So it's, a l it's, it's quite an upgrade over the, the previous E-Series where we did not have the shuttle shift. That's kind of a nice little feature. A couple other things to talk about is the loader options. So on the, uh, on the 1800 series, we're gonna have the FLX 2407. A couple key points to talk about on that is one, they're skid steer quick attach compatible. So any skid steer implement's gonna, gonna work on this. But also we've got a, 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 a lift capacity on this at 1,450 pounds. So if you're needing to move a handful of round bales, this is a tractor that can, that can typically tackle that job. Now that's with the exception of maybe the five by six round bales that can get pretty darn heavy. Uh, but with, with the exception of that, this tractor is pretty darn well capable. And so that's why it's pretty popular here in kind of this central North Texas area is for folks who have a couple, maybe a couple head of cattle, uh, maybe, maybe some livestock to feed. Uh, this is a good tractor to do that with. So it's got, I mean, for its size, it's got pretty darn good lift capacity. And so this is kind of one of those tractors that fits that bill. And the 1825, if, if loader work is your primary application, the 1825 is phenomenal for that. Um, and, and like I say, you've got more or less the cheapest tractor I can get you with that kind of lift capacity. So that's a good thing to know about the 1800E. The 35 and 40, if, if you're needing that power for maybe running a shredder, a rototiller, uh, anything of that nature, maybe you've got some, some ground engaging work like we talked about, maybe a disc or a plow or something like that, rototiller, uh, the, the 35 and the 40 are gonna be kind of probably better options for that because you're gonna have that horsepower in addition to the lift capacity and things like that. Uh, and then we move over to the 2800E series tractor. It's going to have the FLX 2813. That's, that's new for 2023. So we used to have the 2815 loader, uh, and we've gone to the 2813 loader. Uh, still skid steer quick tatch. The cool thing is our loader lift capacity, which was at like 2,870 pounds on the 2815, which is still phenomenal for this size of tractor, has now gone up to a little over 3,000 pounds of lift capacity. So if you're needing to move bales more frequently or lots of bales or the bigger bales, this is a good option for you. And so the 2850 is available in a 50 or 60 horsepower. Both are gonna be in the same chassis size, but these tractors are gonna be for, for those little larger acreages. Maybe you've got some more shredding to do, pull a small bat wing, something like that, uh, pull a spray rig. That's gonna allow you to do it with its heavier chassis size and more horsepower. All right, let's so a few specifics about the 1800E is if you go with the 1825E, it's a 1.49 liter uh, three cylinder diesel engine. If you go up to a 35 or the 40, or, or the 40 horsepower, it's 1.83 liters and it's gonna be turbocharged. So a couple of really key differences there uh, that you get. A few other features I kind of wanted to point out was ground level fueling is gonna be on both the 2800E and the 1800E. So that's kind of a nice feature. And we do have some shielding here to protect it. Uh, that's obviously you know, a pretty big upgrade over having to fuel on top of the hood. If you look at maybe some orange tractors and whatnot, you're gonna see a lot of that kind of that hood level fueling. And, and if you're anything like me, 
you don't have, you don't burn through enough diesel to justify a tank on the farm. So you're filling with gas can, you know, fuel cans and you're, you're filling it up here. It's, it's kind of a little bit of a hassle compared to right down here. And while we're talking about the hood, I think it's worth mentioning all the E-Series tractors are metal. So everything, the hood, the fenders, uh, the platform, everything is going to be very uh, metal. A uh, couple other things, uh, you know, I mentioned the, the eight byte transmission that this has, but you also have a three range hider set option. It's a pretty popular option if you're, you're primarily focused on loader work. Um, it's also a really nice feature if you're going to jump on, uh, maybe, the, maybe you've got three or four or five different people that'll be operating the tractor. It's a little bit more resilient for, for new operators as far as there's no clutch involved. Uh, so you can kind of just jump on and go, right? So it takes a lot of the fuss out of that. A couple other things, 7.3 liters uh, of, of hydraulic flow on, on the 1825, 7.6 liters on, on the 1835 and 40. Keep in mind, this is one point where you've got to really pay attention to the details. Uh, if, you, if you talk to some other manufacturers or if you're looking at some other brands, a lot of times they like to kind of combine their steering flow with their implement flow. So when we talk about implement flow, we're talking about anything you might be taking off the rear of the tractor to go to an implement. We're also talking about the lift uh, of the loader. So the speed of the loader is going to be kind of determined by the flow. But what, what a lot of folks, they like to combine their flow and give you a, a total flow number to kind of compete with what we're doing. Our 7.3 and 7.6 liters that's available on the 1800E series is simply that. It's just implement flow. There's an entirely separate steering pump. Uh, so the steering system is completely independent from the, from the implement side of this thing, which is a big, big plus. In fact, if you look, and we've actually got some literature. If you, if you go on our Facebook, uh, we may post it, uh, the link down below here. I've got a comparison chart that compares this to the other two most popular models, which would be uh, an E-Series Deer, uh, or I guess it's E slash D-Series Deer, depending on which transmission you have, and then the O2 Series uh, Kubota, so like the L3902, L3302, uh, and L2502. Um, so we got a comparison chart to kind of compare how we stack up against those two tractors. So moving on to, over to the 2800E, uh, we're going to be just stepping up to a 2.43 liter four-cylinder diesel engine. Uh, and the, the couple other specs that change is your hydraulic flow. 12.6 gallons per minute of hydraulic flow, which gives us an extremely fast loader response, as well as hydraulics for the back, which on the 2800E, we're going to give you one set of hydraulics is going to come standard. We'll, we'll show you that in a minute. Once again, the 8x8 transmission is available. Uh, it's a little different shifting position, so your 4x4 four four, uh, or your four gears is going to be right here as long as, as well with your two ranges here. But in addition to that, we're going to have the, the hydro stat, the three range hydro stat is also available on this tractor. Once again, if, if you're new to tractors or if you're, you're mainly focused on shredding and maybe loader work, jumping onto, that, jumping onto a hydro stat may be a better option. We talked about the ground level fueling. We're going to be carrying that over to the 2800 series, as well as we're going to have got a mostly flat floor here. So on the 1800E, we don't have that, but stepping up on the 2800E, it gets a few of the more creature comforts that you come to expect on a little bit larger tractors. So in this situation, you've got not only that rubber floor, which believe it or not, is actually a really nice feature. It kind of takes some of the vibration out of your feet but it is a flat floor. It's just a little nicer operator station. So not only when you step up to a 2800E do you kind of get the, you get the more horsepower, a little bit larger tractor, but you're gonna get a little nicer features. So there's a lot of things to think about when you're, when you're looking at the size of your tractor. So kind of moving around the back of this 2800 series tractor, I wanna talk about a few of the different things that, that we maybe mentioned, but just kind of touch on them again is the one, the, the, the set of hydraulics that comes standard. This is nice, especially if maybe you're pulling a little small flex wing, maybe you're raking hay with this tractor, right? Having that set of hydraulics come standard is a pretty big deal. There's a lot of other tractors out there in the market where this is not standard and you're gonna to have to add that if you need that. And that could be $1,500, $2,000, just, I guess it just depends on what your dealer uh, is pushing you on. But like I say, that's gonna come standard. And we can add a second if you need another uh, hydraulic remote. Uh, for, for most folks, one remote's pretty nice. A uh, couple other things. The, on the 2800, we're gonna have these telescopic uh, in links. Those are a really, really nice option. So, so keep that in mind and consider that uh, when you're looking at tractors. And then we've also got what we call the combi balls. So it's basically got a Cat 2 or a Cat 1 hookup built right into the, to the, to the 
ball of the of the tractor. So the lower links can work with a Cat 1 or Cat 2 implement. And then your top link's Cat 2, but you can, of course, bush that down to a Cat 1. So really nice. One thing to mention, a lot of cast iron in, this, in the rear end of this tractor. So these 2800 series tractors are are pushing 3,900 pounds of base weight. That's not ballast. That is not, doesn't even include the loader, right, or the loader subframe. That's the base weight of the tractor. So it's a pretty good heavy tractor. Uh, you know, if, if you're doing a lot of work, if you're doing lots of loader work, just know you've got plenty of iron built in. Should probably mention the sway links as well. On, on the 2800E, got a little nicer style of sway links, which is these, this, these telescoping sway links. I like that, that's a little nicer style. So stepping over here to the 1800E, you're gonna, we, we don't have the, the telescopic ends of the combi balls, which on this size tractor, I don't know why you would have combi balls, because the truth is, uh, you really don't need, uh, you're not gonna do a Cat 2 implement on this size of tractor. But a couple things that are kinda cool is we do have the, the, the draw bar, it's just tucked up in there, you just gotta pull that out, but you can shove it in and keep it out of the way. Uh, and the lift capacity on this is pretty impressive at 2,200 pounds. So there's not much it cannot lift. Uh, it's, it's got quite good capacity. And talking about the base weight of this 1800E, you know, we talked about on the 2800 where it's, it's, it's pushing 4,000 pounds, 3,900 pounds. These are going to be pushing 3,000 pounds. And so it's got a good base weight for what you're doing. And one thing about the 1800E that I kind of like is this straight rear axle. It's, it's got that, it's just a straight horizontal axle. We don't have the, we don't have like the, the offset planetary. So I kind of like that. If you just think of how much iron is just right there in that rear end, it's a pretty impressive tractor. These are well-built machines. And one last thing that's worth mentioning is both the 1800E and the 2800E, no matter what model you get, four-wheel drive is standard. We do not offer these in two-wheel drive because the truth is, you don't want to buy it in two-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive is a much better way to do it. You know, probably one in 10 people come in here and at least mention two-wheel drive. But the truth is, if you buy it for no other reason, the resale value is enough reason to buy four-wheel drive because when you go to resell it or trade it or whatnot, it's going to truly help the resale. But the, the amount of loader work, or when you start doing loader work, it's really important to have four-wheel drive. So it's not just about to be pulling an implement. You know, it, there's a lot of other reasons to have four-wheel drive on a compact tractor. So y'all, just kind of summing this up, really nice, good price point tractor. So if, if you're not somebody who's you know, looking for those fancy features that maybe the M series Massey has, you know, these are some very, very nice tractors to get some, to get some serious work done. In fact, I always talk about this E series tractor. It, I currently don't have a need for this big a tractor. I've only got like 15 acres, so I don't have it. But this is probably in this, series or this size horsepower tractor of all of them that we sell. I really like the fit and finish and just the look and the style of these E-series tractors. Even though the M has got some really nice features that, that are worth considering, power shuttle and things like that. But for me, the, the 2800E is, is, is arguably my favorite horsepower or tractor in this horsepower class. So y'all, if you're looking for, for a new tractor, uh, maybe, you're, maybe you've got some new property, maybe you're new to it, maybe you need something a little larger and need to step up a little bit. Maybe your old tractor, you'll, you'll find a lot of tractors in, in this class that will not do the loader work that, that these tractors can do. A lot of people will come trade these in when they maybe can't move that round bell that they thought they were gonna be able to move with a, with a different color tractor. And they'll come trade their tractor in on one of these E-series tractors. Uh, just a good, simple, affordable tractor great warranty. It's a Massey. They stand behind their product really well. So if y'all are looking for a new tractor, come check these out here at PR Equipment. We've got a store here in Kearns, Texas, where we are today, the store in Canton, Texas. Uh, you can call or text the Kearns store at 903-270-0877. You reach out to the Canton store. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. We're always releasing new content, talking about the different features and benefits of different tractors, and we'll be putting out a few new videos in, in the coming weeks here. Thanks, y'all.